Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're checking out some of the best new UX UI design tools for the month of October 2025. We have some insane new tools which were very unexpected that have really shaken the design world this time. So let's check them out. All right, so the first one is Affinity Studio by Canva. Earlier Affinity was a major competitor to Adobe, but Canva has bought it out and they've brought it out for completely free. Earlier there was a fee, now it's 100% free. Now they're providing three major tools in one rather than having three different tools. The three notable tools in one are basically number one vector which is very similar to Adobe Illustrator. We have Pixel which is sort of the Photoshop competitor in a way and then we have Layout which a lot of UI designers are going to benefit from as well. Layout is more like Adobe InDesign. It can be used for poster design, for graphic design, for slideshows and presentations. It can even, if you're crazy enough, be used for UI design tasks as well. Of course, most people won't, but most UI designers or UX designers are going to be able to use this for social media posts, etc. It's crazy. And it has a lot of pre-built assets and tools and stuff like that inside it. So getting started is going to be simple. Also, there's a mode called customized, which allows you to basically customize, say, your own mode. So if you want a photo editor with graphic design capabilities, you can have it. You can basically create your own tool with all these customizations in it. The first time I'm seeing this. Also, you will have access to Canva AI. Canva AI, of course, there will be, you know, like a paid tier to it. But for most offline usage, this tool is 100% free. The crazy thing that is happening right now is that a lot of people are canceling their Adobe subscriptions, even paying the extra amount that Adobe charges for leaving their subscription early, which is crazy. And they're actually enjoying this tool now. They're shifting to this tool permanently. This has really flipped the game over. Adobe has finally gotten a threat to them. And this could be the game changer that Canva was looking for as well. I will be linking one or two very good videos on Affinity if you're an Affinity fan already, or if you want to try this tool out, you can always check out their videos. I'm not a graphic designer, so I'm not gonna get into it. But Adobe being threatened by a tool, that's big. All right, so the next big news and upcoming tool essentially is Figma's Weave. Now Figma recently acquired a startup which was already doing node-based AI editing and photo generation. So node-based photo editing and photo generation is coming to Figma. So essentially we'll be able to connect nodes and build beautiful graphics, UIs, etc., with these node-based, advanced node-based integrations. And they're already had 20 plus people who were working for the VV team and now they're gonna be working for Figma essentially. So we're gonna see a lot of cool features with this. And for those who don't know what node-based editing is, basically you attach one frame to the other. The first frame has like an asset or a reference. And based on that reference or asset, you generate a new image or a new asset based on a prompt. So you can always talk to this AI with a prompt, which we essentially already do. But again, you can connect them with nodes, you can connect new reference images with these nodes to build something unique. So you're basically teaching the AI live, and it's not just picking up random designs from the internet or random information from the internet. So this is gonna be really cool, really interesting to see in play. I have a full-fledged video of everything that we can find Again, linked in the description, which I just released. So go watch that after you watch this video. I think that'll be useful in case you're interested. Okay, so AI is either fluff marketing or it's completely useless. But in some cases, it can be very, very useful. So this platform is called Mock You. And what it allows you to do is generate mockups and it's easy then for you to just put up your designs into these mockups. So you can ask it to generate an iPad inside a lake or inside water in a river, and it will do that for you. You want a screen up on Times Square, it'll create that for you. You want a futuristic look or a old rustic look. You want a laptop inside a farmhouse, <laughs> generate whatever you like with MockU. And what's cool about this is it also generates video mockups. 
So if you have a static mockup generated with this, you want to then convert it into like a full fledged video or like where lighting is flowing or there's an angle changing, you can instruct it to do those things. And it's powered by VO. So essentially, if you have used VO before, it's pretty powerful and it's pretty efficient as well. And they have something called magic post. So essentially a bunch of tools inside this tool. One is called magic background, which can change the background of a object or a product. Magic post converts your existing product mockup or whatever it is into social media posts, which is really cool. So it'll create like six to eight variations of how it can look on social media and different variations. You also have a zoom out feature. So if you have like a laptop, let's just say, and you have your website design in that, it can zoom out and create a scene around your laptop essentially, which again, it's, it's a interesting way to showcase your designs online. It's a great way to stand out as well. It's pretty intuitive. It's inside your browser. So you don't even have to download anything. It's free to get started. They give you like a limited credits essentially. All right. So the next one is great for people who are interested in motion design. I guess all of us are as UI designers. We love motion. We love interaction design. And this website essentially helps you learn motion design in a very cool, fun manner. So it's kind of like a course website, but not exactly. So how it works is simple. You scroll through actual examples of how things work. You scroll through their website essentially. And as you can see, it teaches you through these really interactive web animations. So it's basically telling you a story and through that story, you're learning motion design. You have, of course, this entire website, which is created so you can keep on scrolling and it'll keep on teaching you cool stuff. As you can see, it's pretty interactive as well. I'm moving my mouse around and it's so fun. And of course you can navigate to whatever sort of topics you'd like to, to learn. For example, I want to learn offset and delay. I can go down and then here, what it shows me are these different lessons in the format of real examples. I will give the link in the description. All right. So the next one is a company that I've recently worked with, it's called moonchild.ai. And if you've ever used an AI generator for UI designs, this takes it to the next level. So what Moonchild allows you to do is give it a prompt, a PDF, or anything that explains your project. And based on that PDF or whatever you've uploaded, it will assess your project and then start creating UI designs. What's cool about this is from the first UI design, it gives you three variations at every step. So if there is a page dedicated to, let's just say a search page, it will give you three variations of that search page with different designs or even similar designs, depending on your requirements. Apart from that, what's cool is that as soon as it generates this, it is also responsive. Number one, number two, it also is coded out. So you can literally export this as code instantly. Apart from that, everything is interactive. So if there's a button, a switch, a hover element, it will be interactive. You can interact with these components in real time. It's not just static PNGs or JPEGs. These are real designs created here. And then you can tweak it further if you'd like to, or else you can just hand it to the developer as it is. Now, this is really cool because it allows designers like us to tweak, to be able to have control and to be able to chat with this AI and not have to be restricted. A lot of cool problems that they've solved through this tool as well. Check this out. I think it's really cool. Moonchild.ai. Pretty nice. Oh, I am so grateful there is a dedicated website for this. It's called bentogenerator.com. We want to generate bentos for UIs, for graphics, for websites. This platform eases it. Now you can quickly just edit these bentos, drag around this for example, drag around these bento tiles, essentially. You can tweak each style, each tile with a different style. It's a bit of a tongue twister. You can add borders, gradients, whatever you like. And there's so much customization. It's like a tiny version of Figma inside your browser. And it's so intuitive. It's so easy to use. Once you save the changes, it happens live and everything just gets displayed live as well. I think it's really cool because again, it's a very small, tiny tool, which does something interesting, which does something that we all like to do in general. You can save this as like a normal PNG JPEG, or you can export this as a JSON as well in case you want to put it into your website or something like that. Okay, so this is sort of a new design tool not being spoken about a lot recently, 
but I've seen a few people talk about it. It's as if Figma was built from the ground up with AI and ease of use in mind. Now, Subframe has a, three modes. One is the creation mode, which is just, you know, designing mode. The second is the AI mode, and then you have the code mode, essentially. So basically very similar to Figma, but a very drag and drop experience. It's, you know, very quick. AI does half the job for you. You are able to then tweak this designs as per your requirements. And it also has sort of this command window, so as to say. So you're able to quickly just do stuff by commanding the AI to do something or by finding stuff on screen. Each component, each card, each layout essentially is already coded out for you, which you can copy paste essentially. So there's HTML, CSS, JavaScript already ready for you with of course React and Tailwind in mind. So all right, sometimes you want to showcase your UI designs in an interesting manner, whether it's in your portfolio, whether whatever it is. Tight Studio, as you covered, it's a weird name to be honest, but Tight Studio is really cool because it's a completely free app with some paid AI features. But apart from that, what it does, it, it follows your mouse. So if you're going through a UI design, it follows it around. You can add narration, you can add captions, all generated for you automatically. You can add text, music, backgrounds, and all that cool stuff. You can mask stuff. You can add a custom cursor if you like. A lot of customization, and it feels like this uh, a pro editing software without having to edit anything. All right, so the next one is called Opal by Google. It's actually pretty cool. It allows you to create these mini apps, mini tools for yourself. Uh, or for someone, someone else using AI. For example, you can ask it, hey, I want an app that can convert a PDF into a presentation. Let's just say that's an example, a uh, use case. It can do that. It can create a slides generator where you just have an app ready for you to go. It's under the Google Labs title. So basically Google, it's like a Google experiment. But the fact that it has a lot of cool use cases and it generates these tiny micro apps for you. So if, whether you want to generate a playlist from YouTube or learn with YouTube, whether you want to do product research or like a UX research, you can train this AI to do that for you and you can basically add nodes to it. So make a more complex app if you require it. And it is also targeting UX designers or developers. No coding required, rapid prototyping and intuitive visual editing. It literally is dedicated to designers in this sense. Last but not the least, I am doing a free workshop, free UX UI workshop, along with a bunch of other cool people. There will be Figma that's gonna be taught. There's been Claude for AI, there's Webflow, and a bunch of other things this coming weekend. So 8th and 9th, essentially. I will be there on Sunday, which is the 9th, teaching design principles and prototyping and stuff like that inside Figma. And there will be another expert of Webflow and Claude who will be teaching you no code and AI as well for designers. So again, this is 100% free, no charge, no, if you want to come register, there's a link in the description. Uh, it's online, it's live, and it's free of course. So why not? Share it with others as well. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. If you like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up. I'll keep on making more just like this. Also, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon if you do not want to miss any of these cool UX UI design related content. Also, make sure to comment down below if there is a tool that you would like me to cover next. I will try to do that as well. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until next time, take care. God bless.